Hey guys, so uh, I have this uh, Xbox One S that has no power. So all the voltages are present, the so 1.1, 5 volt and all that. They are all present, but the console doesn't do anything. No power, no beeps, nothing. So if you find yourself with an Xbox One, all generations, and it has this NAND, this specific NAND, brand of NAND or whatever it's called. I don't even know what's the name of it. Didn't Google it, but yeah. You can just Google the part number there. But if there is, you find that Xbox has this NAND there and then you're not getting any power, most likely, I will say in my case, 100% of the time, <laughs> this thing here is bad. So, what's happening with this uh, NAND? Okay, these are bad NANDs, I'll say. They're good for a while, but they tend to die compared to the other brands. To so the SK Ionic and the Samsung, those tend to last longer. But this one here, they do last long, but they are the ones that are breaking. So if you find yourself with an Xbox One, this the history here. If you are able to dump the NAND, and then maybe you can save this console here, this particular console. But if you're not able to dump the NAND, in order for you to save this, you need to find another console. Well, if you're willing to do all that. Uh, find another motherboard that has some other issues that you can't fix. And then you move that NAND to this drive and the CPU, and then you'll be able to rescue this motherboard here. I don't know if it's worth the efforts, I don't know how much it will charge, whatever it's going on, but if you want to fix this issue here, yeah, that's the way to go. Uh, I've done a couple of videos already on this issue here. Yeah. Um, I think I did an Xbox One that was struggling to update. Yeah, so that's basically that. Uh, in this video, so I'll just do a quick one for you guys, so at least you see what I mean there. What I mean by that, I'll just make a, I'll make a, I'll take a NAND from another machine and put it here, so we can see that we'll get a standby, and the rest most likely will just be a CPU and all that. Okay, so I'll put in the power button. Uh, that was the power button with power supply. Okay, we have a power button there, and uh, the power supply. I'm plugging in now. Uh, let's turn it around. Okay, so let's plug in. What else? What else do we need to check here? Okay, so we have our multimeter. Multimeter is there. I'll just put it here so you see there. Go a little bit higher. Okay, so um, check here. 3.2 is available. Uh, we move over here. We have 5 volts and we go over here. You get 1.8. There's nothing over there. And you move over here. You have 3.15. Should be lower on this side. 3.10. So basically this thing here should get 1.1 there. So when we come down here, you press the power button, nothing is happening. Okay, so uh, let me find another NAND. So basically what I want to do here is this. Um, okay, we'll take this guy out. Okay, so I have this console. I have this Xbox One here, but oh, there is some issues, so I'm suspecting that the RAMs are bad, and I'm not rebooting 16 of them. So you see it spinning there, when you press, it just pips and nothing happens, and after a while it will, after a while it will, after a while it will come on, so basically RAM issues. Yeah, so you can see that it's trying to start and restarting and all that. So, it could also be that we have a bad CPU, whatever, but just to prove a point, just to prove a point, uh, yeah, there we go. So, it will do this and it will go off. So, I'm moving the CPU, the disk drive, and the NAND. But we'll start with the NAND so that we can make sure that. Uh, so we can make sure that the, the other NAND there can prove our point, basically. Okay. 
Hey guys, so uh, let's remove this one here and then we'll put the other one on. I removed that already, so I don't want to make the video long. Well, I didn't reboot this one here just to see if the console will power up, but it didn't. I also tried to read it, I couldn't read it, so I know for sure this guy here is problematic. Okay. So, move the homie on the side. That uh, wick, I, I need to buy it. I need to get some solar wick there. Yeah, almost there. apply just a tiny bit of flux whatever stuck up there we'll do just fine okay that's that um okay so this is the, the sk ionics that we put in here Just center it, make sure it's in the center. Yeah. Okay, looks better. Let's get flow now. Should be good. I'll just touch it a little bit, but I think it should be good. Yeah, that was a little bit too much, but yeah, should be good there. Okay, we'll let it cool down. Uh, we'll run some tests there and see if you're. And see if uh, we'll get we we'll have some power there. If there is power coming through there, at least you know now what's causing those uh, no power on these Xbox ones. And I'll consume the other stuff. I need to put a CPU there and then get it to work. But the purpose of the video will be done once we run some tests here. Okay, I'm just gonna pull it down. I got things to do. Yeah, it's a little bit hot. Let's wait a little bit more. Oh, this should be it. Okay, let's see. Um, The power supply. Okay, that's it. Okay, can you hear the beep? I can hear the beep. There we go.
can hear the beep there now so if you wait a little longer this fan will it will go on and go off but now at least you can hear the beep there there we go that's normal because the NAND is not matching the CPU so now if you just move the CPU around this board is gonna work so as I was saying there these NANDs these are causing troubles so if you have one of this if you found yourself with an Xbox one with this NAND and there is no power just know that that NAND is gone uh, if you're lucky some of them you'll be able to dump it if you can dump it and then can add the dump onto another machine and then you have a working console there okay so uh, now I replace the CPU uh, let's just plug it in and we'll switch on that's it that is it that's how you fix this issue here